What is up guys? Tipper Void here guys. We're back playing Oxygen Not Included Part 2 here. And I did fix my mic, I'm so sorry. Um, it was very distorted in the first part and um, I think it should be good now. I lowered my, um, like the uh, input level of my microphone so it shouldn't be as bad. It should be below the, uh, the ceiling as people call it. But anyways guys, we're here. Um, I completely forgot what I was doing so I gotta figure out where did we leave off. I probably should have just watched my video. Um, I haven't played this in like a whole day. But um, I think what we were doing last was we were, what do you call it, just uh, getting everything set up like uh, the oxygen, trying to make sure down here especially was uh, safe for them to breathe. So I think we'll work on that now. But let's see. So yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to resume quite yet. I guess I guess we should just resume see see how everything's going. Uh oh. Okay, so it's nighttime and oh birdie stuck up there. That's right, we gotta build a ladder there. Okay, okay, actually, yeah, let me pause it then. Um because I don't want to leave her up there because carbon's developing right there. And that's not good for her. She's got dirty hands, she's grimy, she can't get to her bed and she's tired, and she's the one who falls asleep really easily, so that's not good, guys. Um, we gotta see if we can't put that ladder there. And I think actually this is also a good opportunity since she's up there to turn this into a whole other floor of our place and then we can put more stuff up there. So that's actually uh, a good thing to have for us. But um, yeah, I think also, I think that storage is full right now. It's close to full, so we're gonna put some more storage boxes in here uh, for now and maybe we'll make a dedicated storage room later on. But, uh, yeah, let's resume. I don't want to sit here the whole episode. Uh, you know, just <laughs> paused. But yeah, that oxygen development, um, it's at max gas pressure. So I think we need to open up the area and that'll allow us to have more pressure. Yeah, these guys can't breathe, so that's not good. Um, so we're definitely gonna have to open this up. What, what is the one thing I'm looking for? An algae terrarium. Okay, let me slow down speed real quick. Medicine. There's this one thing you can get. A mess table. Is this it? No, no, that's not it. I don't think we can get it yet. But we'll see. And let me make the micro mush bar. Um, must be built on the ground. Yeah, okay. So these got. Hold on. We got to prioritize this. We got to make this high priority. But uh, yeah, get that done, guys. No, 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 don't dig that, don't dig that. That's not priority. I think once they finish that, they'll move over and start. But they also need to sweep up everything. There is a lot of stuff here on the ground. So we'll make sure they sweep that up. I think to get better gas pressure, we're going to open up this over here too. Um, so when these guys get the chance, we'll have them do that. Uh, uh, well, hold on, hold on. Yeah, uh, here, what we can do is, base, we can have them build tile up to there, and then we'll have them dig, like, a stairway type thing up into here. Now, the only problem with this is I think some of this water is going to flow in here, so we just have to be mindful of that. Uh, there shouldn't be too much, though. So we should be fine. Yeah, that, that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. <clears throat> so let's also make sure they're sweeping when they can. Storage not allocated. I keep forgetting we have to do that. We need to make sure we mark it for storage. So they actually sweep the stuff up, which seems they seem to be doing that now. Um, okay, and then one of the things I noticed here is we do have some water here, so we're probably going to want to dig over to this. Um, for now, we'll just do it like that so it doesn't leak in here, I guess. But, yeah, we'll make sure we get that there. Hopefully they keep doing that. So we're going to speed up time here. We've got a 4% stress level. It seems Joshua and Nicola are taking all the stress. That's not good. Um, we require a food source. Ah, I forgot to build a, the must station. We can actually put that up there now that we opened it up. 
But uh, also, to increase gas pressure, I think I'm going to open this up. I was debating on whether or not we should do it. But I think it's uh, for the best of the colony that we do. And then, where is it? Uh, the microbe mush bar. We'll put that. Um. Yeah, we'll put that right here. And then... Since that's there, we'll connect some electrical wire up now. And we can just thread that over to the ladder here. Can we go through the floor? You can, okay. So, I should probably just build through the floor for now on so it looks a little nicer. But uh, we'll do super fast speed here. And just get everything done. They did a really good job sweeping up all this stuff, so that's good. Uh, a lot of carbon back here, that's not good. And we might want to dig down into this area here. So I think what we'll do is we'll order them to dig all this out when they get the chance. I don't want to get too close to that because I think the water can leak through. And I definitely don't want that happening. So, and just to kind of keep it neat, I think below this ladder, I'll build another ladder down. Uh, just to kind of keep it like symmetrical looking. But uh, yeah, that should be good. And then we'll also build some tile here so they have some place to walk. Uh, I don't want that one there. And we'll also order that they put ladders all the way down there. So um, it's basically just a lot of building and digging and stuff right now. But once these guys get a lot of this done, it's gonna it's gonna be good. So. Seems like the one character, Bernie or whatever, fell asleep. That's not good. But there's not much we can do about that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. Okay, so it is nighttime right now. Uh, a lot of carbon back by their bed still. And that max gas pressure is really messing with us. Um, becomes idle when the room enters maximum air pressure range. So yeah, we gotta somehow fix that. There's too much pressure in here. So I think opening it up is gonna help us out. Um, can we can we mine out the ceiling? Would that help increase the pressure? I might have to do some research on that because I don't know exactly how to get better max gas pressure. Um, I think we're getting somewhere with this. I think it's slowly getting rid of that, but uh, I'm not sure. Let, let me take a, gr a look at the oxygen overlay. So it looks like it's not... It's just really bad in some spots, and that's not good. But for the most part, like down here, that's really good. Uh, in here, it's very breathable, so that's good. We're doing something right in there. Um, I think what we need is we need smaller rooms. I think that's the problem. But like up in here, this stuff is really good. And it might be because we have this here. Uh, you know what? Here, let me try something. I have an idea. If I put a ladder here as well... I ordered them to dig all this out. Um, oh, deconstruct. That's right. That's what we're going to want to do. And we order them to put a ladder here. Okay, perfect. So if they put a ladder in here, would that help increase pressure now that that would be open? And you know, I think also we're going to build another bathroom here as well. Uh, just so these guys... We'll build three, just because I feel like in the future we're going to need it. But uh, let's also order them to sweep everything up that they can. Now let's check the oxygen grid now. So like I said, this is still very breathable. That's great. Um, we're doing good there. And plumbing. Yeah, okay. So one of the things I know we also should be doing is building... What is it? It's the computer and the research. Yeah, the research station. So I think we'll put that over here actually, and then put the supercomputer here as well. And that'll be our little corner for the research. And then we'll thread our electrical wiring over to here. And that should power that up. Okay, so I think for the most part, this is all gonna work. Um, they're putting food in here, so that's good. The stress level's at 17% right now. Uh, Nicola and Joshua, what seems to be the problem? Hold on, I gotta slow down speed. Nicola. Uh, dirty hands, grimy. Inhaling. Okay, so it seems that they're not getting enough oxygen, and that's the problem. And I think they're the ones 
Yeah, they're the ones that are over here where it's like really bad. So that's the problem. They're not getting the air they need. So this need this needs to be top priority right here. Because I think this is really gonna help, um that's really gonna help them get the oxygen they need. And it's also I think it's also gonna allow the carbon to travel down, which I believe it travels down in this game, so it'll cause it to go down there. And like I said, I think that'll increase the uh, pressure in this room. But it seems like uh, Blanche just leveled up. Blanche, I don't know her name. <laughs> How to say it. But, uh... Yeah, come on, guys. You gotta get that dugging out. I think just for the sake of it, we'll also just dig that over a bit more. We should be good as long as we stay away from the contaminated water. Um... I mean, it just gets harder as you move out away from your place. Like over here. What is this? What is this? Look at this little thing. Just minding his own business in there. Um, so there is oxygen in there, but a lot of it's contaminated. That's not good. Down here, chlorine and contaminated oxygen and a morb. He's overheated. Oh, poor guy. I'd say let's help him, but I don't want to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me let me take another look. The oxygen grid. Um, we gotta fast forward to see if they can get this done. Yeah, like I said, this is really affecting them. Like, they can't even sleep there. We might have to move their beds. I just, I don't understand how to fix the, the max, um, what do you call it? Gas pressure thing? I don't know how to fix that. Air pressurization. Pressurization. Um, oh, there's a lot of stats in this game. I didn't even think about this. But yeah, they should get all this done today. Oh, when they open this up, it should help out too. They've almost got it though. They're working hard. Uh, I just voice cracked so hard there. They're working hard. They're getting it done. I applaud them for their hard work. But, um, actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on. I want to cancel this. I don't want to risk getting too close to that water there. But I do want to tile that and eventually get all of this tiled out. It would be nice to see all that tiled. Okay, and... Yeah, we're going to keep fast-forwarding here. We're on cycle 6 right now, so uh, I think we left off at cycle 3. Um, a little bit faster this episode, but I just wanted to kind of get things done. There's really no point to leaving it on slow mode unless you're doing very sensitive the tasks. So, Alright, so what I think we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put some sort of oxygen system here. So it pushes oxygen up. So let me actually slow down time. This is one of those things I'm talking about where it's time sensitive. I don't want to risk too much. And let's order that they put an algae thing there. And we'll put one here too on each end of the room. And then we'll get them to wire it all up. But that that should help fix that problem. When they get it done at least. So actually, you know, let's make it a high priority because I want it done by the time they go to sleep. But yeah. So that's high priority now. Hopefully they get it done. And this has a lot of carbon here, too. But yeah, the oxygen rises in this game. So you definitely want to somehow force your carbon down. And I think this is going to be our opportunity to do so. Yeah, hopefully... Yeah, they look like they're getting it done. Uh, they built the toilets. That's good. They're sweeping, too. So that's also awesome. But uh, let's also just order that they sweep everything. And let's also just order that they harvest everything in this area that they can. I want to make sure if there's anything here we can harvest that we do. Let me fast forward now. Hopefully these guys are getting this built. Their stress is at 27%. Joshua, and he's the end cot. So that's really, that was really affecting him. But it looks like we actually fixed the problem. Um, I think my theory worked where the carbon got pushed into here. If I look at the overlay, yeah, it seems like there's a little bit of carbon floating around there. For the most part, we actually fixed that problem. 
Now, I know, I think we have to do research. Oh, wait, we just got a new duplicate. Okay, so I'll, I'll say what I was going to say after I get the new duplicate. But, um, who do we got? Okay, already there's some really good options here. Strength. All right, I'm sorry, but I think this one here is going to be pretty good. But the only problem is incapable of visualizing an object in 3D space, cannot perform the job build. Well, then how do they have construction as one of their attributes? Oh, building speed. Okay, uh, your little bow, do their business. Okay, uh, oof. Mole hands. Uh, well, this guy's got good construction, but he'll fall asleep at any time as well. And his stress response is destructive, but they all seem to have that destructive thing. And he has high expectation for decor, though, so that's a problem. But I think he's going to be our best bet. So we're going to pick a Lee here. I'm sure that's how you say his name. I hope so. But yeah, now we've got him here to join our crew with us. That's awesome. Now hopefully we can uh, get rid of all this terrible carbon dioxide in here. Because that's, that's really going to hurt us. But yeah, what I was going to say is uh, I want to get this research station done soon. Because there's a thing you can do with the research station where it... Um, you can make these floors and look it's already starting to clear up that um these oxidizers so that's good it seems like it's working i can see little bits of oxygen floating around there but what i was gonna say is uh the research station you can get these floors and the floors allow oxygen to traverse through them and that that's actually obviously a really good thing to have <clears throat> and it says here the gas burn uh gas permeable tile used as a wall and floor to build rooms, blocks the flow of liquid without obstructing the flow of gas. So, it's basically a thing that allows gas through, um, but we need gas piping research in order to do that, so we're gonna have to work on that, maybe get it done. And yeah, that's gonna be our top priority. So we're gonna have to see if we can't make that work. Let me see. Yeah, they seem to already be working on it, but I'm gonna say it's a nine priority just to be safe. And we'll see how that goes from there. Hmm. Um, the oxygen seems to be getting a lot better here though. And like I said, the carbon seems to be getting pushed down to here. So while that's not necessarily positive, it's better than what we thought. And I think there is a thing that converts what is this? Recycles carbon? Yeah, so this is what we're also going to want to research. We need to get farming tech research done. And that'll recycle carbon dioxide into a small amount of oxygen. And yeah, so that's what we're going to need. Algae terrarium. Uh, that's going to be super helpful for us. Other than that, I think today was a success. And they got this opened up now, too, and hopefully that carbon stays trapped up there. Because it's not going to be good if that drops into our base. Other than that, we've got some really good oxygen flow going on. Um, it's starting to become very breathable in here still. And that seems to be spreading, like I said. But we got to make sure we manage this oxygen better. So now that the research station's done, I actually think we should uh, start managing that. And what is this? No fabrications queued. Okay, so we're going to want to open research. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about, this thing here. So, farming tech or gas piping? Um, they're both going to be good to have. But, uh, let me see. I think you have to use this. Yeah, you have to pick with the supercomputer. Um, I'm trying to think. Do we want gas piping? Gas piping will give us gas pipes and vents. And this will give us... Um, I think now we're going to need this. And then we'll do gas piping next. But, yeah, that's going to be our, our top priority, I believe. So we've got that queued. And we're going to queue up. Novus Research, Fabricate, Fabricate, Fabricate. All right, we want to get that research done. So let's see. Hopefully these guys can get it all done before the cycle. Or at least some of it done before the cycle ends. But it seems like they're going hard at that research. Uh, how much did they get done already? Uh, I want to see the research station. They've already got two done, so that's good. Um, and I think that means, yeah, we're at two out of 20. So we're going to have to do this a couple times. We're going to have to make sure we keep queuing up the research. And that's going to cost us some dirt, but I'm pretty sure we have plenty of that. We've been digging a lot. Real proud of our duplicates for how much digging they've done. 
and we've just got to make sure we clean this up. But yeah, our plan worked. Um, it's actually kind of oxygenated over here now, I guess you could say. And I think the gas pressure got better too. So the only thing we're missing is algae, which there's plenty down here that we can grab. And there's also a lot up here. So actually, I think I'm going to see if I can't get them to get that algae up there. But it's good. we're going to have to build a ladder or some sort so they can go get it. And what's this over here? Slime. Ooh. So it seems when you get over here, it's pretty tricky to get all the resources you need because there's things like slime. But slime is organic, so maybe it can help us. Maybe it can't. I don't know. And then up here is where we're going to get into the really tricky territory. But I'm really excited to go see that. But I think, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I believe this episode's a little bit shorter than the last one. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just got carried away and recorded even longer. But uh, I think I'm going to try and cut the episodes down to 15 minutes. Um, so next part, it's only going to be a 15-minute episode because I know they're kind of unbearable to watch uh, when they're too long. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, guys, our base is looking awesome. I mean, just take a look at this. We've It's very symmetrical looking, so that's something I'm real proud of, uh, how good it looks. And hopefully we can polish it up in the next couple episodes and just make this the perfect place for our little duplicates to live. And when I just zoomed in, I realized, um, who is it? Who is it? We just, we have our fifth duplicate, right? Where's he at? Where, where'd he go? Oh my god, where is he? Okay, I must be blind because I don't see him. Uh, oh, he's right there. Oh, oh, he's right there. <laughs> So we gotta make uh, him a bed now, I just realized that. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this oxidizer. Um, I'll queue that up next time, and then we'll move it over, um, I think maybe to here, or just we'll get rid of it completely, because I don't think we're gonna need it now that we balanced out that oxygen. Maybe we can put it over here by this ladder, because that seems to be a good place to put it by ladders. But yeah, guys, I think we're good other than that, so I will see you guys all in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you later.